Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> We are getting everything together real fast. So give me a minute. I will get some links shared. Hello, hello, hello. Whoever's out there lurking about. Hello, who all's there? Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Lori. Hi, Carol. Uh, yeah, Giggles is here. She's actually laying down on the couch in the other room. And Carol said hi. Hi, Carol. How's everybody doing tonight? Well, we're waiting for everybody to come in. Hey, Kylara, I did get your message. I will respond back to you later on. I didn't have time earlier because I just got it right before. Hey, Mindy. Hey, Kathy. April. Quietly minding your own business. Uh-huh. I bet. Yeah. April's in the house. I beat you. But I did get it. I just was... I got it in the middle of everything else, so I will respond to you. Mom, yes. April's in the house. Yep. I'm drinking my tea. It's chilly tonight for me. I don't know why. Hi, Tammy. How are you today? How is everybody today? Is everybody doing good? We'll give everybody a little bit to get in because it's not quite here. Oh, did you have a rough day, Lori? Um, Tammy, nothing's wrong with giggles. She's just laying down. Her exact words are, she ate too much macaroni. <laughs> She's so funny. Hold on, I gotta send the link to my mom. You mean your dad? Well, no, I sent it to mom and she wrote back that I need to send it to dad. You're like that with mashed potatoes? That's so funny. Do I need to print the kit smaller than normally, Dorothy? Dorothy. Um, no, you don't. You can print the kit in regular size. There will be a few adjustments, but nothing big. Um, I printed everything just the way it came out with the PDF. Oh, yeah, Tammy, see, mashed potatoes and gravy are my downfall. Hi, Melissa. Yes, Carol, everything is good. A little chilly and yucky, but I'm okay. Awesome. Cool, Kylara. I do have some announcements. 
it, this is the the Jane Eyre kit, and I love this kit. Yes, we're giving Carla a big group hug. Why? Why are you giving Carla a group hug? I don't know why my lights are so oh, yeah. dark today. Okay, go adjust that. I don't know if it's my computer. Let me check on my phone. Well, you do have this one on. Aww. Little big hugs. Whatever is going on. I read April's thing on all caps. I said, before we get giggled drunk, I was like, wait, what? I know. I was like, I read that and I'm like, she's getting giggles drunk. What? Is that a good one? Wait, actually. Uh, it's not too bad. It's Let just. Turn the... No, turn that on. Yas. All three, and then pull it this way and push some of them down. That may help some. Use me. Not really. You're silly. Are you a new subby for me? A new, a new one? You're a new subby for who, April? Check whose channel out. You don't have this page. If you got the digital kit, all of these pages are in here. Because it all comes with the kit. Along with all these and those. These are all the My Dearest Jane kit. This is the Jane or I. Jane Eyre. Duh. I'm having one of those days, you guys. I can't read. This is the Jane Eyre. Um, now, we will start the Secret Garden Kit um, not, it, after we finish this one. Did you finish that already? The kit itself? Oh, you know, Connie, I do that every once in a while. It drives me crazy. Okay, we'll give everybody a couple more minutes, about five after I'll start. That'll give everybody time to get in. Um, then I'll go over a few things, basic things. Oops, I need these over here, and I need this over here. Oh, I haven't seen. Oh, Carol, it's pretty. Look, I'll sort of show you as we go through. There's this one, and I have a couple of these printed, and I'll explain why. In a minute let me move this one and there's this one i love this one oh, why are we making this and there's a couple here? of that one and there's that one this is very pink very shabby chic is how it's gonna be there's that one i was here when you made this kit i didn't realize it and there's that one and these are actually pages of the 1908 version I can't wait says nettie are you excited, I Nettie? To get my ink lol, so oh, don't you hate that? I hate that. Oops, that one's upside down. Oh, they're all upside down now. Apparently, not here. that one. She's been coming in late. I'm not sure what's. Oh, and then I turned it back. Well, dag on it. It wasn't upside down. I was upside down. In that one, and I love this because it's got the calendar, the months, and the days on it, so you can mark it on the page, which is pretty cool. And I loved this book when I was a kid. Even well, I just still do. What is it? And this is my favorite page, you guys. I'm going to make a whole kit based why. just around <laughs> this print because I love this page. I mean, I want this page, but I want it in like all kinds of colors, like all different color roses. So I'm going to make this into different pages. Oh, look at you guys. I know. I love this one. 
this is pretty just in general for anything. And then I'll go through in a minute with um, the ephemera. Like this is part of the ephemera, which you can use for anything. Um, and I try to like these two, let me find, because there's a, there's different sizes. Um, hold on, let me find it, it's here. And this one, and then there's little bitty bitties. So like one page of the kit has this small tag that doesn't have any flowers. It's just print. It has a, a like a medium sized tag and it's got the two large tags on just one PDF or one sheet. So you literally can print these out to use with any kind of journal you want to. Hi, Deborah. So I love these. And these are so cute. I know I did a good job, you guys, on this kit. I love this kit. Mom, are you in college? I don't know. Can you give me an idea? So there's all sure. kinds of tags, and then there's the tags with the birds. Um, hi. All kinds of stuff. And then there's tags that go along with the book, which I love. I don't know how to pronounce the girl's name. Hey, which one? 24. That's Deborah. It's not. Yeah, and then there's two other small ones, and the ones with the little and birds. Julie from Canada. Hi, Julie. And then there's those, which I love. And there's this, and there's even little calendars that go along with it. And there's some washi strips. Up, oh, look at all the Canadians in the house tonight. They are. Kylara's from Canada. Julie's from Canada. There's a couple other ones too. Um, Barb Dingwell is from Canada. Like, um, she comes and Australian. goes. She's not on here all the time. She's on here a lot. We're Australians too. I know I have Australians on here because Miss Carol's always from Australia. Always. <laughs> always. She's stuck on her little island over there. And then there's these. I love these. They're so cute. So we'll go ahead and put these Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Woohoo! So Florida's put, in the house. I'm going to put them in this little white scoreboard. Are you kind of addicted to what? Just junk journaling in general? It's kind of addicted. Or you're kind of addicted to me? Huh? I could understand that. I'd be addicted to me too. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. See, there's Carol. Carol said yes. Yeah. Carol forces her whole family to watch me. No, the little white scoreboard. Oh, oh yuck. I hate when that happens. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. You should do like a book and have pictures of your mom in there and everything. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Just lay it here. Put this over there somewhere. Hold on, I'm getting myself rearranged. Okay, so we'll start out first. Somebody asked me about inking. Okay. Well, okay, let me readjust. Far, as far as printing. Um, Can you go ahead you, and hand me your stress and I go put it back in the thing? I don't know what I'll need, so. I'll pull it out as you need Okay. Um, as far as printing, there's two different ways it'll print out depending on how your printer prints. Okay. Always make sure that you're on landscape and not portrait. Um, because if you're on portrait, you'll get like little half sheets in the middle. It's sort of weird. Um, if you do, it will work as long as you keep it on portrait. You'll just have a smaller journal. So, okay. Then pages, they differ. If you print borderless with no little border around you and your page goes from like one end of your paper to the other, your sizes when we do the cover and stuff will be about a quarter inch wider and a quarter inch taller. And just remind me and I'll, when we get there, I'll remind you of that. If you print and you get, you know, the little white strip around it that you cut off, that's fine. That's actually how I printed this out. Although I usually try to go borderless. Um, but I forgot to hit the button because I was doing five things at once. So I actually cut it off. So 
it will be a quarter inch wider and taller for those who print borderless this time. Okay. Okay, thank you. And then well, how I print it, I printed maybe a little bit different because, you know, I'm sort of going into it knowing what's going on, which <laughs> probably sort of helps. Um, the page that has Jane Eyre on it, I actually printed three of these. And I will tell you why. Because I want to use this for my cover. Now I'm going to use um, a fabric spine, but I wanted to use this for my front and my back cover just because it has the name on there and everything. So I'm going to put this as my flat part of my front cover, you know, when you first cover the flat part. But then all around here, I'm going to fussy cut around, you know, the angels and all around there. The whole entire, that whole entire area, you know, that stamp right there. I'm going to cut around there. I'm going to adhere it um, to chipboard and glue it on top of my page so this is higher than my page so i get that layered look and then i'm going to probably put like cheesecloth pink cheesecloth peeking out of it or whatever but i want to raise that up so it has that raised look okay so that's why i printed a second page because one of them i'm going to cut around on now what i'll do is i will cut here i'll go ahead and cut through here i can fussy cut this rose and use it i can fussy cut these butterflies and use it so I'm not going to lose anything. I'll cut it in half and then I'll use this. I'll cut the quarter of an inch on the side over here on this side, ink it up and I'll use it as one of my papers to put in an envelope. Yes, you could use foam tape too. Um, if, if you're going to use foam tape, the only thing to remember is because I print mine on, um, this is 28 pound paper. Uh, 90 brightness is you want to adhere this to like um, cardstock or something that's going to be a little bit firmer. Now I tell you what you could use. You could use like an old cereal box or something like that um, behind it, just like you can for your covers, you know, just to raise it up. If you want to use foam tape, I do. I don't like using foam tape because, you know, as flimsy as my paper is, I always worry if I, you know, if I'm moving around, I touch it or, you know, if I put something on top of it, it's going to poke through the paper because there's not support covering the whole entire area. Now, if you cover the whole thing with foam tape, you could do that. Um, another thing you could do is the, um, you know, like the, the foam you get, like the little foam sheets that you see like little smiley faces and stuff cut out of it. It's foam, but they're just foam art sheets. You could cut that out and do that too. I printed three of these because I'm going to cut around here, raise it up, and then I'm going to come back in on this one. On my third one, I'm going to cut just where Charlotte Bronte is and just inside, you know, this part right here, this part inside here, and I'm going to raise it up another level. So I'll have three levels sort of like that, you know, pop um, on that. So that's why I printed three sheets. If you don't want to do that, you know, and you want to flat, some people like their covers flat so they can stack them on shelves. Craft foam, yes. Um, some people want to, you know, keep them flat so they can stack them on their shelves. You're welcome to do that. Um, if you just want to cover it and put lace around it, you're welcome to do that. Um, if you just want to cut it out, put, I mean, it's your book. It's your journal. So, you know, make it your own. I mean, this is just the idea that I have in my mind, my concept. So that's what I want to do with that. So I printed three of those. That's what I did. I printed two of these one because I want to use one for my, for a signature cover. I printed the other one because I want to be able to cut into it. Um, and that's just me because I thought, you know, cutting around here and it, adhering the frame and the picture to a page with some cheesecloth would be really pretty. I mean, obviously, you could use that for anything. Obviously, you can fussy cut out the lace in the middle, too. Which would be really cute if you adhered it to cardstock and cut around it. That would be perfect to use for a belly band. So, so I printed two of those. Then I printed one of those and one of the ones with the frame. 
one of the ones with the book page and you can always go back and print more i printed one of these pages and one with the birdie and one with this and one of these and i printed two of these one because i want to use one within my journal another one because i want to divide it in half and ink it up to be able to use it as stationary inside my envelopes because i just felt i love that this is like probably my favorite page i've ever made out of everything i've made but this is just more my style i like that so i printed two of those okay so we have this which is a pocket folder you have your little watch and your butterflies and there will be other pieces um way to go kylara great minds think alike um there will be other stuff showing up so don't there will be other stuff because i'm going to be putting some freebies up too to go along with it um just to add to the kit for you guys and then there's the birdie washi or you can cut them separate and use it for like a snippet strip Okay, on these, I printed on just plain white paper because I'm going to cover the back of mine. So that, you know, I'm using these for like the covers of signatures or to add to ephemera and stuff like that. And the ones that are covering my signatures, I will glue this to coffee dyed paper because I want my signature covers a little bit thicker to protect the papers inside and that's just what i do that's just my personal preference um there's the little hard word washi okay and now that will start to explain a little bit more let me grab these first somebody asked about inking i ink around all of my pages all the out the outside edges of my pages so i ink around those and i ink around all of my ephemera i haven't poked my holes yet i usually do that once i because i back mine with coffee dyed paper so once i get the coffee dyed paper on the back then i punch in my holes that's just me because if not i'd have a hole here and a hole there um but i ink around everything now somebody asked because they're like well i don't have vintage photo i'm using vintage photo maybe i don't have vintage photo what do i use okay if you don't have vintage photo or you don't even have ink if you've went and you've printed out your your kit, you will notice there's a natural uh, tone around them. I add like a faux ink print to the outside of them for that purpose. And I'll show you the difference. Here is one. I have not inked this. This is how this prints out. So you can see over here, you know, around the edges, how you have that darker edge, like it's a real light ink. I put that on there anyway. I don't try to make it too dark because if you ink over top of it and it's too dark, then you're going to get too dark of edges. So I do it really light. If you want to add ink to it, you're welcome to. If you don't have ink or, you know, just maybe you don't have a lot or you only have, you know, one ink pad and you're trying to make it stretch, you, the ones that have it go, you don't have to. Now, if you do ink it, I ink mine with vintage photo. That's the difference. So it does add a darker, but both of them look really nice. So you don't have to ink as heavy as you normally do because I do have that all around the edge. So that's the option. Okay. So I do have calendars in there. There are two, but I will be posting some things. Hold on. Let me get, pull my list out here because I have a list. I will be adding a book plate with a, like this belongs to label. So you can put a book plate in the front of your journal. I will also, I'm, um, I already have it. I have to get everything loaded up and onto the site. Um, I also have, and these won't go onto the Facebook site. These will be linked under the video. So I will let you know what video I'm linking them under and it'll be linked to Google drive. You can just click it and pull it down because some people can print with PDFs. Depending on your printer, some printers will print PDFs and use less ink with a PDF than what you do printing a photo if it's a photo that you've saved off of the face off of Facebook. So I will be making a page, a calendar page that has six calendars on it. So you can print out six at a time. So like if you want to put one in, you know, for once a month 
or you know if every time you journal you want to put one tuck one somewhere so you know what date it is you journaled you can do that so i will be putting more of those in i will also be putting um just some plain rectangle tags in i will also put in, be putting um some bifold rectangle tags which basically um well i'll use this okay say if this is okay this is obviously it's not a rectangle it's gonna be a square but um if it's a rectangle, they'll be connected where you can just fold them in half to do covers for booklets. If you want to do like mini journals, things like that. And there'll be a couple of those. And let's see, what else was it? Oh, I folded up my list and I guess it. Um, and then there will be one, I will include a trifold tag, which will be a tag that's connected. Three tags that'll be connected. So you can cut it apart and use it as three tags if you want to. You could cut it apart and use the two that are connected as a tag booklet. Or you can have all three and you can fold it, you know, cut it so you actually have a tag, a trifold tag that folds out. So that will be your options. So I have cut mine out. I have inked mine. And then we have um, the three big tags of those we have that big tag that big tag okay we have the media what i call the medium tags which are these okay and then we do have where do my other tag go there it is it's hiding it's hiding we do have the three small tags the one with the little bird and all that now i did try too. And I was saying earlier, but if you were, weren't on here earlier, then you probably didn't see it. All of the pages that have the print and the roses, I made sure I put all of those on the same page. So if you want to just print out the rose print with words or whatever to use for regular tags and any kind of shabby chic journal or any kind of rose journal or whatever, you can use those everywhere else. The same thing with the birds. I tried to put the birds together and um, the cages and where did the one with the saying go? Did I have it in here? I don't know what I did with it. I just moved it. I'm losing my mind. The ones that had the birds on them and the saying, you know, with the pink and gray sort of vibe to them, I tried to print those together. So if you wanted to use those in a different journal, you could. So you can just print out one sheet or you can print out all of them. Just because I hate buying a digital kit and only being able to use it with that kit and you can't use anything else with nothing else. And we have the little pocket watch and the little butterflies. And we have two layaway tags that are decorated. And I, the butterfly and the pocket watch, I put on there too. So you can use these in anything you want to. Okay. And I need to ink this one up really fast because I didn't ink it. Yeah, I already answered her. Some things, now, what I usually print on dyed paper, Nutty, just to answer you, usually the only thing that I will print on coffee dyed or tea dyed paper is because I back everything. Because I just, I, it's just me, I guess. I don't know. Um, is if, like, well, I printed all this off at one time, so I didn't worry about it. But say if I was going to go back in and I wanted to print this just for stationery to use in envelopes or something like that, I would print this on coffee dyed paper. So that I didn't because I was just printing everything out at one time. So I will be adding those other things. And like I said, I will put links up if you're not sure how to do the whole link thing to get it or whatever. Um, when I post it, just let me know and I can email it to you if you need me to or whatever. I I don't mind doing that because sometimes I know you just don't know. So we're going to start prepping our ephemera. And first things first, I'm going to start with my little folder pocket. <coughs> and excuse me because my throat is all gooby tonight. Before I go, am I going too fast for anybody? Kylara, it just sort of depends. I tend to go through my paper 
and find the ones that aren't as crazy. But now I do things <laughs> different than most people. <laughs> April, I'm going to reach to the computer. Um, Take your drinks away. Now, when I... When I dye my paper, I after I get done, I put mine in the oven. As I pull mine out of the oven, I have um, a pile of books. And when I say books, she means books. I'm talking like big size books. Okay, they're like big size books. And I put about twelve of them on top of my paper, <laughs> so it has waited. And I leave them there overnight. I mean, if, even if it's a stack, you know, like three inches high, I'll just put it all together or I'll separate it between books, stack them all up, and I just leave it there overnight. And when I come back the next day, okay, like this is one of my pages. There's a little waviness along the edge. Like if you can, let me see if you can, you can see just that teeny tiny bit of wave. That's it. Honestly, I don't see a big difference between when I do this and when I iron mine. And putting a big book on it's a whole lot easier for me than ironing it. So that's what I do. Oh, good luck, Deborah. What's that she ordered her first kit, so we're going to see. Okay, so I'm going to use my scoreboard. If you don't have a scoreboard, I'll show you on the other side how to do it if you don't have a scoreboard. On the other side. Yep, I got two different sides, so I can do that. Let me turn this around so I can do it this way. Um. If you got a scoreboard, I mean, if you got a scoreboard, you know how to do this. Yeah, just line it up and use your score tool and score down right side up so you can fold it just like that. And if you have a scoreboard, you know how to do that. And you may have to trim a little bit off because, you know, that's just how I did. Okay, if you don't have a scoreboard, you can use anything. And when I say anything, she means anything. I mean anything. I'll use my ink cap. That's fine. Because my ruler walked away. I usually use my ruler. Um, well, I can't use this. It's not long enough. Gosh, darn it. Just use your phone. I'm not using my phone. Hold on. Oh, here. I'll just use this. If you have a ruler, use your ruler. I don't have my ruler. Well, I have it. I just don't know where it's at because... It's right here somewhere, but I can't find it right now because, you know, heaven forbid. Okay. So I'm going to make this look way more difficult than what it is because I don't have my ruler. Just put something straight along there. And a then, pen? yeah, a pen or whatever. Use an ink pen, a pencil, a paintbrush, whatever, and just fold it up along the straight edge. And I just slide mine back, you know, a couple times. So you sort of score it right there. You pull your thing off, it's going to be bent like that, you know, just a little bit. And I mean, if you guys, most of you guys, I think, have scored, so you know how to do this. Oh, I probably look the same way you do. And I just fold it here. And that's it. But I like scoring because I'm lazy and it's easy and I have a scoreboard, so <laughs> it's easier. Okay. And then you're just going to score along the straight part over to the other side. And if you turn it over, I don't know if you guys notice when you print it out, you'll notice there are very light brown lines across there. So you know where to score. Yes. You can use the ditch in your paper trimmer too. Yep. 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 April. You can. My problem is, is I can score. Usually I don't even usually get this out. I do it. I eyeball it and do it. But yes, if you do not have a scoreboard, um, you can do that. And I'm going to tell you guys, Honestly, if you don't have a bone folder and you need to do it, get your Dollis, uh, like butter knife or your case knife, whatever you call it, wherever you're at. And you can use it or use the handle, your scissors. You can use all kinds of stuff. Anything that's fine. Okay. And then don't forget to ink that back up when you fold it because it wasn't inked if it wasn't folded before. Because once you glue it, then you got to go undo it or ink around it, which I mean, you can do with this. It does work okay usually, but I've done it to where it doesn't match up and it makes me mad then. April's so sweet. Look at her giving advice. 
April, you want to come do the video? That's the only time April will ever be sweet. That's not true. She hasn't got to risk <laughs> Jen, whatever she happens to find, she hasn't got there yet. You can come at my house and do the video. I'll let you. I'll just sit back and watch. Have fun. And if you score it crooked, which, you know, nine times out of ten is going to happen, then you have these handy-dandy things called the scissors. <laughs> and you just trim it up. It was that one I didn't do on the scoreboard. Nice example, Mom. No, that's what works. If anybody tells me they ever do it and it's always right. Your site, yeah, that... Hey, April, that is the cool thing about doing it. You don't have to worry about being shy because nobody sees you. It's just your hands. You don't have to see anybody. It's like talking to yourself. You just got to be a little crazy. Um, she's hands down shy. No? Okay. I thought it was a good time, but... Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to ink up right around here and right inside the little fold. Am I going too fast or is everybody, you got all the tugs. Awesome. Makes, yeah. She seems shy to me, don't she to you, Mindy? Okay. And then you have a little folder. And what do you think I would put in my, I do too. And you know, the worst thing is, is now that I've been doing videos, it's worse because, oh, don't you hate that? Um, so I'm putting my little calendars in my pocket. You just stop that conversation. But yeah, I got to doing the videos and got so used um, I'm so used to talking now that I talk to myself as I'm doing it. And these are on purpose, two different sizes. One is a little bit shorter depending on, you know, where you need to put it. So I wanted to make one a little bit shorter, but I can, didn't want to mess all the numbers and stuff up. So that's where that is. Okay. So I'm going to set my papers to the side real fast. And my washi sheets to the side. I'm going to pull out all my tags because I back my tags. Am I going too fast for anybody? Hey, Kathy Jean. How are you? Hey, Elizabeth's here too. Elizabeth showed up. Yay, Elizabeth. And you can use um, any kind of glue that you want. Whatever your favorite is. If you, now, I will tell you, I am going to sew around the edges of mine. I'm probably not going to do that on video because it takes forever to do because. I'm a little bit more anal about that. Yeah, you can put a new grid on your platform. I've had to do that because they're always messed up. So I am going to sew mine. Um, just so you guys know. Um, so if you come back tomorrow and you're like, what's wrong with her tags? Her tags are sewed. She didn't do that on the video. Nope, I'm not going to do the sewing on the video. Um, if you need to know how to sew around tags, I do have a video um, about sewing. It's like so beautiful, something, something, something. And I'm going to do a whole series on sewing. I just have not got there yet. So, Because I do all kinds of goofy stuff too, which you don't see a lot of now because I've been doing journals and I've been trying to do journals and I don't know if, People have sewing machines, so I'm trying to be, you know, 
I don't want to do a bunch of videos about stuff that people don't have. So, so I'm just gluing these on now and I need my real bone folder. <laughs> I do. I need to get about five bone folders because every time I look for one, I can't find it. Remind me, I'll order some this time when I, when I order. So, I know somebody was asking me, and don't ask me who, because cars is a Oh, did you? Oh, no. E, Kylara, I am so sorry. Yuck. Yuck. What? I hate that. She broke her sewing machine. How did you manage that? What did you do to it? Or what is it doing? Um, but I've been working because my goal is I want to, this is May, and I want to get a list of the journals that I'm going to be doing for the rest of the year together. That way, if you guys want to work along with me, that you can gather ephemera to be able to do it. So I've been putting a list together. April has been extremely good today. It's nodding under the plate. Okay. I can tell you what to do if you want me to. Because mine does it all the time. Um, if you take, unscrew the metal plate. You know, that's over top your bob bobbin, bobbin spool. Unscrew it. Your bobbin will pull out. And when you pull your bobbin out, more than likely, if you, do you use it to sew on journals and stuff? Because if, I'm throwing stuff again. If you use it to sew on journals and stuff, more than likely, it's got dust and thread build up in there. Along with the oil that's in there. That all builds up under there. And it will gunk up under the plate and it'll cause it to jam it's an easy fix there's nothing to it you literally just unscrew the metal part and it's still doing it okay make sure do you have a book with your machine if you have a book with your machine make sure that you're putting the part that holds your bobbin make sure you're putting it back in the right spot exactly because if it's not in that exact spot, it'll kick out every time. Yep, did that with mine. Oh, hey, Trisha. Yes. So it could be a lot of things. Um, what I would... Well, I mean, you can take it to your guy or whoever you have, if that's what you normally do. What I would do is sit down with, if you have your book with you, and go through all the steps they tell you for troubleshooting, and go through each and every one. Make sure your bobbin's in the right way, um, because it'll pull it out if you don't. Uh, and also, it's going to sound silly, but try putting a new needle in. Um, because if yeah, Trisha, you're fine if you ran it on coffee dyed paper. I'm just backing mine because I wanted the extra balk in mine. That's just me. Because I want to use this one a lot. And some printers won't take coffee dyed paper. Mine does, thank God. Um, but I sort of like the extra support. Yeah, I have had mine do, I did, seriously. I took mine apart, had my husband clean it, he oiled it, he did everything to it. We spent hours 
working on this thing and everything else. And I went, well, I'll, I guess I'll change the needle and see if that helps. He's like, well, go ahead and try it. Probably won't, but we'll try. And the needle was getting stuck. And it was totally had my whole entire bobbin and everything all crazy. So you might want to check that too. Sometimes it's just the random stuff and simple stuff you would think. Yeah, you do have to watch your bobbins. And if you do them in the wrong way, if your thread's loading from the wrong way or anything, and sometimes you just grab it and you throw it in there and you don't think about it, and then you realize you did it. But you can try. If it doesn't work, then yeah. Call your man. Call your guy. My husband usually does all mine, but... Um, yeah, well, yeah, I'm going to be inking mine, but what I'm going to do is I actually have a stencil I want to use on mine. Ooh, sensitive. I want to use um, my Jacobian floral stencil on the back of mine because I just think it would be really pretty with this kit. And it's my favorite. And I'm going to ink it with pink all over and then do the edges with vintage photo. And like I said, you know, if you want to do yours a different way, don't feel like you have to follow, follow along exactly <laughs> like I do. Make it your own. So I was working on trying to make a list of journals. So of, you know, ones that to make. So I'll sort of go over those while I'm doing this. And you guys let me know what you think, if there's one or some um, that you don't like or whatever, and we'll see if we can adapt and, you know, change it out or whatever. Or I'll do it anyway. No, I'm just <laughs> um, So I ha we have this one now. I want to do the Secret Garden one um, for June. I try to do a journal a month, and then sometimes I'll throw oddball ones in between you know, like smaller, you know, more smaller projects. So I want to do the secret garden one for June, June and it's going to be gatefold. What does that mean? It's going to be a gatefold journal. If you don't know what that is, you will learn a new way to make a journal. So it's going to be gatefold, which is pretty neat to do. And then July, um, I'm going to do a vintage Christmas because we're doing Christmas in July. So I'm going to do a vintage Christmas, but I'm going to do it lap book style. So we're going to do it lap book style because I thought that would be really cute. And we can do like, um, because it would be in Christmas and with it being lap book style, we can do um, some waterfall places for photos. Um, no, Kylara, it is finished. It is finished. I did get it done. <laughs> I didn't get loaded today with everything going on. It will be up tomorrow. It will. Okay. It should be up tomorrow. Okay. It will be up tomorrow or really, really late tonight via early morning. So more than likely it'll be on early in the morning. I tend to do things at like five, six o'clock in the morning. So um, let's see. So vintage Christmas one and we'll do it lab book style for July, which I like. And I think somebody was wanting to do lab book style. I don't know if that was one. Was one of you guys wanting to do lab book style? Was it one of you guys? Somebody said something about it and I like lab books. So I used to do lab books with my kids. Um, you did? Yeah, I remember we did all the ones about oh, the aquarium and all that. I knew that. Oh no, Kylora, Kylora, go ahead. It's nice not being in here talking to myself. Okay, and then, let's see. That was Christmas. That's July. For August, I want to do Alice in Wonderland. Oh, yeah. Lab books are fun. And we'll go step by step um, to build it so it won't be as maybe overwhelming. Yes, lab books are so fun. 
So we're going to do um, the Christmas for the lap book because I thought that would be perfect because, you know, you can sort of add all kinds of little places for, you know, any little gadgets and gadgets you have, you know, Christmas tags, uh, Christmas cards, photos, all that kind of stuff. Lab books are so fun. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that for Christmas for July, August. We're doing Alice in Wonderland and it's going to be a stacked stitch binding. Um, so my goal is, is like every month to sort of add a new, Let's see, what is the word? Style? A new tool you can use in your arsenal. So, like, we, we you, know, you know, your gatefold, you'll learn a gatefold. You'll learn the lap book. Then we'll do a stack stitch binding, which those are pretty cool. If you don't know what those are, then you'll find out. They're so neat. Um, then we're doing... That's August. September, we're doing steampunk. Woo. And we're going to do an altered book. So, and it does not have to be a steampunk theme book. I know everybody, if you've seen the one I had earlier um, that I put on the site, I just happened to find that. And I loved it and went, oh, I could use this for steampunk. However, you do not have to have that. There will be images and stuff you can use on the front. Um, and you can use any kit you want to find or any, you know, ephemera that you can find or whatever. But I'm also going to be making kits to go along with them if you'd like to try those. So that's September. Is everybody up with me? Everybody okay so far? And what's October? What do you guys think so far for the first three months? Well, four, June. Does that sound good? I mean, I know I can't please everybody all the time. Um, ooh. Oh, we'll see. Um, then you'll learn along the way. No, um, okay. And then April said, oh. April said what? Uh, oh, of course, cool. it's fine for vintage clothes. Yes. I think it's great. I, it sounds great. Will you, everybody's I want to do, we will do, um, of course it's fine eventually, but I want to do, the, it's hard to do if you've. <laughs> um, we will do a course at spine eventually, but you sort of have to start with the basics before you jump there or people get totally lost. So that's why we're going to start with and sort of just build up as we go. I'm not repeating April. If you need a personal uh, explanation, okay. send me a message and remind me. Just put it in your phone to remind me and I'll like get with you and go back over it again. Why is she freed already? She always, no, she said she didn't hear me. She wasn't listening. Oh, that's so... Okay, important. so that takes us up to September. Everybody good with that then? Mindy, Mindy dear. You're not writing all this down, are you? Do not write this all down. I will make a list and post it. Haven't you figured out yet? I post everything. I hope you're not writing this down seriously. Do not write it down. I will make a list so you don't have to write anything down. Yes, I will put it in the file. I will have a theme file that will have every month and what we're doing. Okay. Okay. So we've got the Secret Garden Gatefold, the Christmas Lap Book, the Alice in Wonderland Stack Stitch Binding, the Steampunk Altered Book. Then we're going to do a traditional three signature journal. For. Oh, I know. It is mine, too. Um, we're going to be doing a three signature journal. The journal part will be the same. But instead of doing, you know, how we do the spine and we do the straight stitches, we're going to do a cross stitch spine. So you'll have the triangular 
cross stitch spine. So if you've never seen a cross stitch spine, because I don't have one right now because I sold all the ones I had. Um, I do have a, let's see, which journal did I do that on? A Tim Holtz journal um, video I'm, that has that spine on it. Let me grab a towel so I can clean my thing off. So we will be doing a cross stitch spine. And then, well, I can't get my towel off. There we go. So that's October. So instead of doing like a traditional Halloween, I thought that we would do an Edgar Allan Poe. Because that would be different. So if you don't like Edgar Allan Poe, it'll still have that dark crow, you know, sort of Halloween-y vibe. Edgar Allan Poe. But at the same time, we're going to do Edgar Allan Poe. So I hope that's okay with everybody. What are you talking about? That's Edgar Allan That's Poe's Halloween. Aesthetic. I know, right? So that's going to be very black, very grungy, very dark. Is everybody okay with that? Before I move on. Can you get to hear what it one? Look, April's like, yes! Awesome. Okay. Okay, does everybody... Well, I thought it wouldn't be... I mean, you see so much just standard Halloween. I thought Edgar Allan Poe would sort of, you know, have that vibe, but at the same time, it wouldn't be so traditional. And with the cross-stitched spine. Oh, okay, Connie. Is she leaving? No, she's opting out of that one. Okay, well, you can do a traditional, but now here's the thing. And Connie or everybody else, here you go. Um, just because I'm doing Edgar Allan Poe, you can use any kit you want to create all of the same ephemera, the same journal and everything with just a kit. If you want to use roses or if you want to do traditional Halloween Day of the Dead. or whatever you want to do, you can just create all of the same exact ephemera in whatever style journal you're making. So you can still make the journal. And not make the same exact type, if that makes sense. Same, same sentence, different font. Yeah, just like using a different font, but the same sentence. So, yeah, just, you know, change the costume, make it different, and you can still do the same journal if you want to. And that way, so you can do, you know, if you want to do um, a, a vintage rose or a shabby chic. Or, you know, whatever you want to do. So, I'm I'm making sure as I do them that they're sort of open so you still have an option. You're make basically making them universal. Okay. In November, it's Thanksgiving. So, we're going to do a family journal. Um, and it's going to be uh, like a family, but it's going to be more like an album style, if that makes sense. So it's going to be more, um, if you're familiar with like Genevieve designs, um, if you're familiar with her work, it'll be more like that. So it'll be more like a lot of well, Nettie, that it'll be a great one for you because there'll be a lot of flips and flaps and all that kind of stuff. Almost definitely like. So it'll be good if um, you know you're not sure, you're unsure with flips and flaps and all the little hidden pockets and all of that kind of thing. So that's what we're going to be doing for November. And I thought, well, with Thanksgiving, family, everybody's thankful for their family. Let's do that. So we're gonna do that, and then for December, we're going to do. A planner, like a yearly planner that you can write swaps in or, you know, whatever you want to do. So, how does that sound? That's through December. You got any planner books after that? Yeah, but that's way too far. I had to even go that far. But I will um, work on the list and get it posted. And that way, you know, if you know you're going to do... 
you know, oh, a steampunk album, then you know you can start gathering your stuff. Or if you know you're going to do a vintage Christmas one, you know, then you can start getting your stuff together. We are doing Wizard of the o Wizard of Wizard of the o Wizard of Oz. We are doing Wizard of Oz, and when we do it, we're going to do the do si do, and we're going to do like you know the black and white and canvas, and then like the color of Oz, and we're probably going to do that in January. And then the very first week of February, just the first week, um. We're going to do sort of like a mini, a mini journal, um, like an altered file folder for Valentine's Day that, you know, just goes along with that whole red and hearts and all that kind of thing. Maybe we can use red and black. And then, um, that's funny. Where's Cheryl? Um, in February. And then we'll carry on with our thing and I want to do um, one that is based on Ireland um, that we'll probably do the end of February the very first week of March um, because I want to have it done before which is why I'm saying the first week of February I want to have if you're doing you know a planner in December you have it ready for Uh, no, Natty, it's going to be more um, sort of like Victorian vintage Christmas. Yes, Cheryl, I am going to be placing a file on um, the Facebook site. Probably, um, I will, what is this? Today is what, Monday? I will try to have it there before Friday. We love the Night Bear Before Christmas. The Night Bear? the nightmare before christmas <laughs> and you can do that i can't do that on a youtube channel because it's, it's disney and disney's a little crazy so i can't do that or i would be doing that believe me my husband adores the nightmare before christmas Indeed it is. favorite show. so um but i will have all of it in a file and it'll be like month um whatever monthly like you know like the monthly journal with me or whatever I, i'll let i'll make sure i post it and put it up there and i'll put an announcement up when i first put it there so everybody can find it and then it'll be in the file section i love ireland um my mother and my father's family is from ireland so i have a ton of ireland stuff Yeah, no German. So. Well, I want to do Ireland because of St. Patrick's Day. And. Um, hold on, dear. Uh, well, I done cut mine up. So hold on. I got to. Let's see. This one. Two. Three, four, five, six, let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, I have thirteen or fourteen. Let's see. I cut mine apart, so it's hard for me to tell. Um, I think there's thirteen pages, dear. Hold on, let me check real fast. Is this your kit? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how many? I've got like 60 some kits. It's hard to keep track of what's what. Um, Hold on a second. I'm trying. Give me a second. It can only go so fast. Um... Oh, did they? They love it. Oh, cool. Awesome. 
Okay, let's see. There is 10. Let's see, there's 10 pages. And there is one, two, three pages of tags. And hold on. And two pages. So you should have two, five, you should have 15 pages. I did landscape because Okay, you may want to check when you download because there should be a download that is page one or pages one through five. There should be a download that is pages one through six or six through ten. And then there should be a page that is um, three pages of tags. And then there should be two pages of ephemera. So all together you should have 15 pages if you print out one page of each one. Well, thank you, Cheryl. What you think? It was a great idea. Well, I just think it'd be easier and that way you have time to like start looking for all the pieces that you need and, you know, get everything together. You know, and you can get ephemera and all that ahead of time and have it ready. And what I will do, um, not this, th this one, because this, this one came out of nowhere for me. Um, not really out of nowhere. It's just, I will have, I will start with it when the, with the secret garden one, I will, um, make sure that I post, I will, um, I'll save it as a, you know what? I'll probably save everything as a, as a picture and put it in an album instead of as a file. Because if I do that, then I can make a list every time we're doing an album. And like, okay, for the Secret Garden one, and I can put a basic list of what you're going to need, like how much chipboard you're going to need and all of that, all the things that you'll need. I had 15, Connie. There should be 10 pages um, of the regular pages, the big, you know, eight and a half by 11 sheets. There should be three pages of tags and two pages of ephemera. If you don't, then you have to look. Yes, Trisha, I made three of um, the cover page that has the Jane Eyre on it like this. I made three of those. I made... Um, no, yeah, I made three of those. I made two of the one that has the sort of like the vignette, um, the frame around her. So I made two of those. And I also made two of the rows that has the text on it. That's what I did. Now, that's not saying I won't end up printing more. I just sort of... What I do is I use it, and if I find out I need more, then I'll just print that. Um, but, yeah, so that's what I printed ahead of time. Because on the front cover, oh, you weren't here. That's right, Trish. Um, on the front cover, I want to, well, where's that page at? Hold on, guys. We'll get everybody organized. It won't be so bad. On the first page, I want to use this as my front cover on my album. And then I want to cut around the stamp with the angels all the way around it and back it on chipboard so it raises up a level. And then the part where it says Charlotte Bronte and just inside the square here too, I want to cut those out of my third page and raise it up another level so there's three levels to the frame on the front so it gives it more dimension. Oh, well, welcome, Amanda. Welcome, welcome, welcome. New person. We are inking up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Does anybody have any questions, comments, anything they need as far as telling me anything about what's going on or what they think about what's going on or any questions about any of that? Anybody? 
April, did you get all that? I think she thinks she's in timeout again. If you're new to the channel, we'd like to have fun April, and have a good time. Watch. So we do tease and play. So don't feel... We're like one great big family here. Okay. That's what I think, Cheryl. And having it ahead of time, being able to have a list and knowing exactly what you need to go with it. So I'm going to try to go ahead and work out um, several weeks ahead of time. So when you have it, that gives you, you know, a month or so. If you have to get any extra supplies that maybe you don't have. That way, you know, you can budget it or whatever. Because, I mean, I know some people are on budgets and all kinds of stuff like that. So, trying to work ahead. Or if you know you're going to need, you know, 10 of something over three months. Woohoo! Good job, Deborah. What Deborah do? Oh, well, thank you, Amanda. Yes, I love this kit. This is probably one of my favorites. Okay, April, shoot. What's your question? Kylara's always got the answer. Hi, Mary. What's up, Jones? Why did what do you think we were? We April loves us being mean to her. No, she she doesn't. We just tease. We're a big family on here. Um. Now, Deborah, what you may want to check on your printer is it gives you choices usually. You can either do um, like, it's like a high quality, like almost a photo setting, um, or you can drop it down to like a middle. There's usually three choices on the amount of ink that you can use on your pictures. I do mine. Um, if you're worried about it being, I would do it on the middle and you could see save some. See, I told you. Hi, Mary. What are you doing up this late, girl? Oh, you shouldn't have this up late. I know. She must have woke up to get a drink or go to the bathroom. Or she sleep. She sleep. She. We like to have a good time and goof around on here. So, oh, you just got home. Wow. They let you stay up that late. I was sure you'd be in bed by now. Oops, I forgot to cut one out. Um, I don't know if she's on here or not. Um, she's been having trouble with her phone. And she has to use my dad's phone. So I don't know if she's on here. I sent the link to her, so I don't know. Okay, hold on a second, and I will go through it one more time. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. I printed three of the cover pages. Let me double check and make sure I'm right. I printed two of the rose pages. And then I printed... Let me find the other page. I printed two of these pages. So one, two of these, two of the roses, and three of the cover pages are the extras that I got. So, yeah, it just sort of depends. And you'll learn if you've never really used a printer um, for a while or never have. You'll get used to it, and you'll learn the tips with yours. Um, I can actually print on my printer um, with draft quality, and mine do okay. But I have a photo printer, so my draft quality is... A little bit better than most people's medium. 
yes, you can go back. It'll be there. Um, it'll post up on the thing and then it'll post. And if you give it a little bit of time, the live chat catches up with it. It just takes it a little bit because YouTube's so booked and crazy right now. So, okay. Does anybody have any questions or comments or anything? So basically today was making sure we got our ephemera done and all that. Um, this will be a traveler's notebook. We will be doing it in the same style that I did my ephemera folder the other day. I don't know where it's been for it because I put it up and I have to remember where I put it because I moved it off my table because I moved stuff around because I'm moving stuff around. I'm moving my whole room around. Yeah, Natty, it should be. So, now I tried to do the tags where some you could just like, like this, you could just put a little lace on it. Really, April? I'm going to put you in timeout. You remember yesterday when they disappeared? Um, oh, no. You can put some lace around it. Or, I mean, technically, you could leave it just as it is. I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to put um, my book plate on it and put it in the pocket in the very front of the book. So, all right. Then once I get them like this is when that's the wrong one. Where is my other one? No, my hole punch. Um, my silver hole. Oh, I put it here. I moved stuff around and now I gotta find it. Will you reach in that um, one, two, three, the fifth little blue drawer up where the hole reinforcers are up and get some of those white ones out? Oh, yeah. I did. I talked them through so much stuff. You have no idea. I'm talking to everybody about what to do and how to do it. You're very tall of the rainbow and you choose white. Well, that's because I'm going to show them how I ink it. Oh, okay. And then I'm just punching holes. And this is just your plain old $2 hole reinforcer you can get anywhere. The Dollar Tree, the Dollar Store. Physically anywhere. Walmart, wherever you're at. Yes, Trisha, I agree with you so much. I use mine like crazy. What? And if you need, um, if you're interested in Insta Ink, uh, it's an awesome program. Just message me and I can. Yeah, but Elizabeth, um, I'm going to be making one and posting it in the group anyway. I mean, unless you just want to, you know, waste your time, then you can do that too. What? <laughs> I mean, I'm making it so you can just write it down. Um, get in there and give me a thing of my gold thread that I use. And where? In my sewing cabinet. Oh. The gold. There's there. It's up on the white tray in the top shelf. Eh? No. It's the big ones. Oh. Now, I have... Um, well, I have a bunch of sewing machines, but the one that I use when I use my cards and stuff like that is actually um, a, yes, that's it. It's actually, um, it looks like a regular sewing machine, but it has an extended bed and it is a, yes, she does. She needs one. I did the ephemera folder Friday. Find that my ephemera folder, Elena. I don't know it's It's right here. I just had it. I moved it so it would be out of the way. And then you've lost it because you've been probably up in there. Hold on. I'll see if I can find it real fast. Um, or on there. It's probably there or there. 
That's where I put all that stuff. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> it's um the stamped the thing I put my stamps in. Oh, why did you just say that? Okay, and then, anyway, so I have a quilting machine. Um, so I actually can run like quilting fabric or quilt quilting. The right mom. Yeah, Kylar, they are awesome. I do um I do the 700. So when I roll over, I have 14, but I never have that, um, which makes it nice. And I pay $20 a month on Instant Ink, and I get 700 pages for $20. But um, you have to have an HP Instant Ink printer that is connected to your internet all the time. You have a jet over here. So, um, but anyway, so I have a printer that does quilting thread. It can also use serger thread. So I actually use this gold serger thread is my go my go-to. Even though it looks really gold there, it's actually not. when it goes on a card, let me let me pull a piece off and lay it on top there. When it actually goes on a tag, and this is Maxi Lock. Um, what is this color? This is called Blue Jean Gold, and it's not extremely thick. It's not like super thick, if you can see. I mean, it's not a lot thicker than regular thread, but if I can pile it up, if it'll go on there. When it goes on the card, it's almost the same color as the vintage photo. That's why I like using it. Um, now, you can get the blue jean gold. Um, this is, what brand is this? Honestly, I can't find it. Um, I was trying to see what brand that was. Hold on, I'm trying to look in here. It's, uh, it doesn't say. I get it from Waywax Sewing is where I get a lot of my W-A-W-A-K. Is where I get a lot of my supplies, but I like it anyway. And you can tell it looks almost identical to the vintage photo, and I love that it doesn't have that. It stands out. Um. But it. Is it oh yeah, well see, Trisha, I can't do that because when I make a kit, um, like okay, like this kit, I will have printed this kit out four, five, six times, um just to make sure that everything does way, the way it's supposed to before I post it. April, that's what I did. That's why I went, now I bought an HP Envy 5055, I think is the number on mine. And yes. is it? Yes. yes it is. And I bought it off Amazon and I actually splurged. It was like a gift. I paid like $79 for it. The only thing is I don't like is it does have to stay on the internet, which is really bad when you have a bunch of kids. Um, let's see. I want to use my pink. Your pink is right into the... Oh, your... Which one? Your... No, my ink. Yes, You started to read just in your first time to get used to where I think that. You know what? I'm just going to spray this. Give me my. No, I want my tattered rose and give me my spray box. I'm going to spray it. I moved everything and now we can't find nothing. Did you guys ever do that? My box is all warped you too. Okay, so I'm going to spray my pages. I have a can from WM. From Walmart? I have a cheap Epson Law at Now, Walmart. you can find the uh, the Insta Ink printers at Walmart if you look. But you gotta look, ladies. You can't just scheme. Yes, I do have a code. And now, if you have... Now, I'll tell you, when I signed up for mine, I got a... Is what the color thread? Oh, the blue jean gold. Blue jean gold is the color gold. Uh, didn't do it. Totally, un I totally understand you. Oh, by See? the way, Dorothy, how how did the sale go on Saturday? Um, the sale went really good. Um, so far I've had a ton of people ask me if I'm going to do another one and want to do another one. 
So I don't know. It's sort of going to just depend on if people really want to do one or not. Is that easy to pull that? I don't think that is, but I want to make sure. I don't know, Trisha. You'd have to find out. Wait, wait, didn't Kylara say that she did Insta Ink, right? I can check real quick. So I will do it with the pink, and then um, I will go over it around the edges, like around all the, the white parts on the edges like this. I'll go out with um, the vintage photo. So it'll sort of have multicolors. Well, see, yeah, they do apparently, Natty. Yes, they do. And APHB Instinct is indeed available in Canada. There you go. I mean, I don't know what that word is. I don't want to try and mess that up and, you know, say it wrong. And I'm just doing these and then I'll flip it over and do the other side so I'm not wasting any ink. Um, do you want any other colors? No, I want everything with this color on it, sort of standard. And then I'll, um, yeah, it does. Um, it saves you. I didn't realize it till I was spending, and this is no joke, you guys, close to $185 a month on ink trying to do this. And I went, okay, this just isn't working. So I moved up to the Instinct, and it, it has saved me a bundle. I mean, for what I saved, I saved enough the first month to cover the cost of my printer and the cost of my Trisha, ink, and I had money left over. Up at Sam's, Sam's Club. Club. You got to love Sam's Club. Of course, we're an hour away from Sam's. Isn't that a bulk store? Good night, Lori. The sales was nice. Thank you for your goods. I can't wait till I get her. Till it gets here. Yep, it is on its way. Lori. Oh, it was Lee, Lori. Lori, I think, has to go to work or has to go to work in the morning. I'm from Manitoba. Okay, I would not. Manitoba. Mm -hmm. I love this color. Oh, Lori, I'm so sorry. I know you said you had a bad day. I hope it gets better tomorrow. Hope it all writes itself for you and you have a good time. Yeah, you might have to get a new bottle of top rose. I like green. You love that green. It's my favorite. The green or the pink? We'll see you tomorrow, Lori, hun. See you, Lori. Did I say Lori's? Yeah. Uh -uh. I've been calling Connie Connie Bear, so. Connie Bear. So, yeah, see, I'm cheating because I'm coloring my pages like this. And then I'll just ink around the edges and life will be grand. Mm -hmm. okay. And then tomorrow we will start. So, tomorrow, let's talk about tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, not even here, Mom. Monday and Tuesday. So, when tomorrow you need to have. If you're doing it along with me and you want to do it along with me, if not, you can do it whenever. Um, we will put start putting our signatures together. So any papers you want to include, if you want to include uh, music, um, maps, you know, any kind of thing like that. Book pages, like some vintage book pages. Anything like that. Then you want to have those because tomorrow we'll start. Actually, tomorrow more than likely we will get all of our signatures done and um yeah we'll get it done and get our signatures sewn it doesn't take that long to do it goes pretty fast And I like that each page is turning out different. So let me show you guys one. Cool tip and money saving. So like this, I'm just putting over. And how it's... many signatures and how big are you playing your Dorothy? Okay. My, my signatures. Well, they said they posted the exact same thing at the same time. Okay. Um, you can base your pages how many ever you want to. I standard, on my standard go, 
I use seven coffee dyed pages usually per signature. That's just what I do. Um, a lot of people will do more. I do seven. And then, <laughs> so let me show you the difference. Um, so that's what I usually do. So this is where it was under the stencil and I sprayed. I'm going to so go. you get the, sten the actual, actual stenciling. Then when I lay it on there and suck it up, you get that background. Oh, so you get the line and you get the outline. So you get the, yeah, you get the ghost and all that. So ghost. I like doing that. The it's the ghost off of it. I don't know. This, I'm going to bed. Are you going to bed? Okay, I'm night, hon. Okay. Giggles is going to bed. Hers is sleepy. I'm hoping to wake up on time tomorrow for once. See all and I'm not just wiping that away, wasting it. I'm actually using it. Do you need anything else before I leave? Um, no, I'm good. Sis. Thank you. Get some sleep. Goodbye, lovely ladies. I'm out of here. Love you. And then this, I don't want to waste it. So I'm just going to put it on coffee dyed paper and I can use it you know, even as, you know, whatever kind of paper that I want to. If I want to use it to like, and see, I mean, seriously, that's gorgeous. Let me move this so you can see it all. There you go. Isn't that pretty? Oh, she does. I cannot do it without her, I tell you. She is super helpful, which is funny because you used to not be able to get her to do anything. And the older she is, this, the, and this is, um, the tattered rose spray, which if you don't want to sink the money in this, um, you can use water with, um, the tattered rose reinker. Yes. Reverse stenciling. I, April. Thank you. I couldn't come up with a word for the life of me. So let me move this over here and I'll grab one that's dried. Then let me find my brush is gone. She moved it. Then I have one of these. It's just, if I don't know if you guys have seen any of these. Yeah, the box is nice. Um, that's actually a Tim Holtz called it's called a splat box. But you can cut any kind of box down to do it. I got it with one of my orders as like a sample, you know, type thing or whatever. I think they cost like $4 or something. Um, but this is just one of the makeup brushes you can find now. I like using it when... I'm going to go ahead and move this off of here though. Move that out of the way. When I'm doing this outside edge. Because I can just take it it around like that and just literally I mean it just there's just nothing to it and it goes a little bit faster and it doesn't I to me it doesn't seem as messy as I guess you would say that one of the ink blenders are along the outside oh April you're so silly you're super helpful I don't know what I'd do without you I was talking about you today. Can you believe that? And it wasn't all bad. Yep. And it, it doesn't take a lot to cut an ink. So, and I'm going to leave the white towards the middle. It doesn't bother me that it's white. Now, if the white bothers you, you can just ink your brush up and just really lightly just sort of brush it around. And it'll sort of help fill in those empty spaces. But it doesn't take a whole lot of ink because you have all that pink there. And you can use um, the acrylic spray inks like we made with the apple bottom if you guys were here for that video. So there you go. So that's what I'm going to do with the back of these. And it's plain enough that if I want to decorate it, I can, you know, if I want to, you know, well, so.
say I want to, you know, put a pocket on it or a tag or something. It's not so overabundant. My stencil I got from Michael's. It is, um, well, hold on. Let me think. It is Art Deco and it is called um, Elizabethan, no, Jacobian Floral is what it's called. And it cleans nice. I mean, you just, I have a little bit on the edge here. I mean, I can just wipe it and it cleans. It's just, it's not super hard to clean or anything, which I like. Apple bottom jeans with a fur. You're so funny. So, yeah, so, well, thank you. So, yeah, the main thing is going to be inking our pages up and getting them ready. Of course, I wanted to show you how I did mine because if I didn't and I would have brought them all and they all look like this, somebody undoubtedly would have went. Can you show us how to do that? Because every time I do that, I have to show two or three times, it seems like. And Oh, wow, Nettie, way to go. That's neat if you've got people that want to buy them. You have people that want to buy from you, that's cool. Well, and I mean, some of it's, it's basic. But if... Like when I started, okay, I a lot of mine was like self-discovery, I guess, um, because a lot of channels, um, you know, they'll go in and they show you, they do this, 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 but they don't really show you all the steps. They'll show you, well, this is what we do from B to C, but they don't show you how to get from A to B. And then you're sort of stuck going, you know, what in the world do I do? How do I do this? Well, you know, yeah, that's nice to use that, but how do I get that like that to use it, you know? And I try to, you know, make it to where, which may be redundant, you know, for some people if they're older. And I try not to, you know, be so bad about it, but at least enough that, but I do advertise that my journals are stuff, when I do my stuff on my channel, it is step-by-step -step crafting. So if you don't want step-by-step, -step, move on down the road. And I mean, you can't build a house if you don't have a foundation. And then, you know, that's why with some of the journals, I have so many new people. That's why we're sort of starting with the basics and then moving our way up as we go, you know, and hopefully, you know, this time next year, you all should be doing your thing. Of course, Cheryl's been around forever. Cheryl's an old timer. Don't let her fool you. You know, everybody does that, I think. you you Well, but I think, you know, you sort of get this whole, I need all of this stuff to be able to do that. I'm one of the younger ones, Kylara. I'm 43. And my mom, which she's usually on here, but I don't think, I'm not sure she's really been feeling good either. She's. It's that time of year. <laughs> it's not really to hit the road. It's just, you know, I don't know. To me, that's part of doing a tutorial is, you know, showing the steps. Okay, so, yeah, we're almost the same age. I actually think Catherine, um, oh, Deborah, you're the same age as my husband. He'll be 56 or 57. He'll be 57 in July. And then my mom, let's see, my mom is, my mom, let's see, my dad was born, my dad's 70, so my mom is 66. I had to think about that.
Like April won't put how old she is. So I don't want anybody to know. But yeah, we're just like a big family on here. Or at least that's how I feel. I mean, to me, you are like my family now. So I just... You just get used to being around people. Every once in a while I have that. Are you seriously, Trisha? I did not think you were that old. I think I knew that, but I didn't think you were. Not that you're that old. I'm not saying that's that old. But I thought you were younger than that. I think maybe it's Catherine. Catherine's like really young. I think she's like the baby of the bunch. I think she's like she's got like a five and a six year old. So I think she's like in her thirties, maybe. We'll see. It does move right along. And I'm just going to ink those pages. So if you are one of those people and you've got to work tomorrow or, you know, you've got other stuff you want to do. Um, no, April, I can't hear anybody. That's okay, Natty. I think um, Catherine's the same, around the same age as you. I think she's, um, that's right. I did know that. I did know that because I said you were three years younger than my husband. I remember that now. You just have to remind me. I'm old. we're all around the same age a little younger a little older we're all the same yeah see i think that Catherine is at like maybe 34 she's usually on here but um they're in the middle of Um, they're in the middle of um, their sheep or, or having babies and stuff. So it's a busy time for her. And I think she's around the same age as you, Amanda. I think she may be actually a little younger. I think maybe she may be like 34 or something like that. I don't know. She's pretty young. I mean, I know she's got itty bitty kids. I have older teenagers because my kids are 14 16 16 and 18 so is everybody following along everybody doing okay oh my gosh netty i loved my kids when they were that age i can't believe my kids my baby is 18 and I'm like, it seems like yesterday he was so little. April. <laughs> we do like to have fun and have a good time. And a lot of teasing and giving each other a hard time. I said we're family. That's why. Oh, and Mary, I shipped your stuff out this morning. Just so you know, it is on its way. Well, you've probably seen that. Oh, my gosh. We've all had kids. Oh, my gosh, Deborah. That's crazy. Shoo. Well, I have four, and I have one brother. I have one brother, but he has five kids. 
And his five kids have one. Let's see. There's one, two, eight kids. So I have eight grandniece and nephews. And so we come from a pretty big family. But my dad's one of nine boys. April's all about drinking. That's her big thing. Speaking of drinking, I need a cup of tea. That's so funny. You guys are so funny. You guys crack me up. I was talking to my mom today and she was talking about what a hoot you guys are. She really enjoys being on here. Of course, I know her phone's messing up and something. That she couldn't get it to even pull YouTube up. Every time she pulled YouTube up, it just spun in circles. And she was trying to use my dad's phone. So I don't know what's going on there. I'll have to call her in the morning and find out because she's not on. She's in bed. See, I love how that's turning out. And the vintage photo just adds just enough to it that it's not too dark. I drink coffee and tea and just about anything that can fit in a glass. Amanda, where are you from? I'm in Indiana. Oh, look, she was like, I am. <laughs> oh, see, I like coffee, but I'm a coffee with the cream in it type person. Oh, I know. She's hoot. Yeah, she's not all, she's pretty laid back. Most of the time, she rolls with it. Tennessee. What part of Tennessee? I have an uncle that lives in Maryville by, um, right outside of Knoxville. Oh, well, really? We go down there sometimes. So, I've been to, down through there. All over the place down through there. So, yeah, you're like in the middle. And then my dad has family that's from... Um, Cades Cove too. If you, it's a big tourist area, but he actually has family from there. This is a small world. Oh yeah, my mom's funny. She's a hoot. My actually, my oldest. Um, he's eighteen. He is out there now with my mom and dad. Um. Helping, they live on a farm, and so he's out there doing that. Okay, you'll be up where, Trisha? Okay, okay. You'll be up with me by tomorrow night. I see what you're saying. Okie dokie. Well, they have cattle and, you know, all that crazy stuff. And they've got a bunch of property out there. So, he's putting roofs on. Or, well, it's supposed to be if it doesn't rain. And all that mowing and doing all that kind of stuff. So... Yep, they enjoy being outside and doing all that. Well, my 16-year-old today was <laughs> saying he jumped up. He goes, I'm going to go mow the yard before it rains. And he goes, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I'm like, yeah. He goes, well, I'm going to go mow the yard before it rains. And I'm like, go for it. Which is nice. 
You guys, I'm almost done. I only got three pages left to go. It seems like I've been doing this forever. Oh, I have to do that, Nettie. Woohoo! Thanks for reminding me. Nettie is supposed to remind me. Okay, let me grab my post-it notes. And let me grab a can. Well, you have to do it first. Let me go on here and see who all who all put in because I I told you guys I'll forget if you don't remind me. Okay, let me pull up the thing so I can see who all did it. Uh, see it someday. Okay. Nettie, yours was so pretty. Okay, I'm going to fold Nettie up and put her in there. Oh, good night, Mary. They are. They're sweet. I haven't really raised. They've raised me, man. I'm telling you. Okay, Nettie's in there. Is Melissa still hanging around? Melissa, are you still on here? Sweetheart. I know she was earlier. I don't know if she left or not. Um, let's see. Oh, April put something in here. That's right. I did see your butterfly. I love that butterfly. That's cute. Yep, Melissa's on here. Wow, it's all three of you guys are on here. So somebody on here is gonna win. Somebody's gonna win. You see an old netty in the bucket? Oh, yep. I would have checked. I didn't know when I pulled the white ones out. See, Elena didn't do her job. She hasn't been feeling good. I think it's allergies. Um, <laughs> I found my, the images, um, the, are you talking about the, the Jane Eyre ones? I bought a Jane Eyre book that's really, 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 really old. Yeah, I'm shaking, so it's fair. So nobody can say I'm cheating. Okay, I'm not even looking. And the winner is, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? The winner is, I'm going to peek. Oh, no, seriously? That sucks. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> April! 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 Poor Melissa. April one. So you just have to let me know. Um, what kit you want, April? Um, let me know which one you want. Um, just Facebook me or yeah, just Facebook me and I can email it to you or she gets a star and she wins tonight. I know, right? See, apparently sitting up there keeping your mouth shut made you win. Yeah, I wish. They are. I think they're cute. You guys have did such good jobs with them. They're really pretty. Um, on the Facebook group, every Sunday we have what we call say it Sunday and I put a word of the day up. So like the word for this Sunday, let's see, the first week was friendship. The second week was patience. Well, last week was patience and this week was create. So this week, all you have to do is make a project. It could be a tag, um, a journaling card, a full project, uh, uh, like a master board, a painting, or anything. And um, you just have to include the word of that Sunday on there. So like this week, you had to put create on there. So we drew the last two weeks a netty one, which is crazy that she got them both say at the same time. So then April one today, and then we draw. And then when we draw, you get to go to my Etsy store and pick one free digital kit that you want for free. So it's just sort of a reward for playing with the game. Yep, you just create, you have to, 
if it says above it, yeah, you can create anything. It doesn't matter what it is. You just create something and it has to include the word of the day on it. And that's it. Let's see. I am almost done, guys. I thought I had one left. Now I have two. Yeah, it's just a way to get people to. Yes, I put up create on Sunday um, when the say it Sunday comes up. And I put it up. And then you have until 1030 um, on Monday night during the video that I draw. So you have a whole day to make something. So it's not like you're rushed in like a half hour's time period or whatever. You've got all day to make something. And you don't even have to use like a pre-printed word or ephemera that says the word or whatever. You can literally hand write it on there if you want. Um, Elizabeth has did some of her uh, jelly prints and all kinds of stuff. So it works out good. I mean, you get a free kit out of it. So we just you missed it, Kylara. We just did our drawing for Say It Sunday. Have you seen it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how Nettie got the Jane kit that she's using for this project. So. So that gives you four chances. I don't tell you ahead of time. You find out sat Sunday morning. I put the word up Sunday morning. So you pretty much have like 24 hours to work on it. April 1. I told her it was because she sat over there with her mouth shut. Did we run Amanda off? Did Amanda leave already? I know. Way to go. Yeah, she Nettie won the last two weeks. And then um, April won today, which is awesome. I mean, it's a way to get a free kit. And I mean, they're not, I try not to make my kits super expensive. I mean, cause some of them, I was looking at a kit the other day. I fell in love with it and I wanted it and they wanted like $6 and 40 cents, but there was five parts to the kit. It was going to be like $35 for a digital kit. And I'm like, I can go buy a scrapbook kit for that. Just for a little bit. It won't be long. She'll be back in there again. I put the word up on Facebook. Um, normally, this Sunday I was a little late because I was trying to get everybody invoiced and get everything done for the sale and get it done. Um, normally, I put it up usually by 8 or 9 o'clock on Sunday morning. I try to have it up by noon no matter what. April, all you have to do is Facebook message me or email me. And I'll just email it to whatever your regular email is. Yes, yeah, Sunday morning, which would be like your what Sunday evening, Kylara? Because what what are you, what time are you, you're what Tuesday morning now, right? So it would be your Sunday night until yeah, you would have Sunday afternoony, late night um, till Monday morning to do it because you're on a different time. Because it goes according to Eastern time. Yes. Yeah, just send me. You can just. Um, just email me or Facebook message me and tell me and go, look, I want this one. And I'll make sure you get it. I have lost my water bottle. I can't handle when I clean my room. I can't find anything. Yes, if you do not have an Etsy, um, just look and see which ones you like. And then just email me and let me know which one you want. Oops. And you can do that with, if you have any other kits, even if you want to buy any and you can't figure out or don't, you know, the Etsy thing's messed up or whatever. Um, you know, we can do that or whatever. 
Okay, so all the fronts and backs of, let me make sure that's dry all the way, smear my paper. So I sprayed that just in case anybody wondered, because I knew somebody would ask. And it didn't affect my pages any. You can tell a little bit of the stenciling is under there, but I sort of like that pink popping in the background. So, yep. I inked them all up. And they're all pretty. So I have all of that done and all of my ephemera back. So when we come back tomorrow, we will start. Um, look, I fussy cut my butterfly out. And I even got the antennas. That is amazing. I always cut the antennas off. That's like a must for me. And we will come back tomorrow and we will start decorating our tags. What do you need for tomorrow? Tomorrow, if you do everything that I did today and have it done, um, tomorrow we will start um, we'll probably decorate some tags, but before we go decorating the tags, we'll put the the journals, the signatures together. Woohoo! Sorry guys. Um so, like, I'm using my base pages. Then what I chose to use with mine is I have some old book pages. I have, and if you don't have old, you don't have to have old. You can make it look old. You know, use um, vintage photo and, you know, make them look old. Um, some book pages. Uh, if you want music pages. Um, if you have any receipts or anything like that that you want to include. Anything you want to put in it. Yes, Cheryl, on the Facebook group, when you get it, when you get your thing finished, you just post a picture. It'll say, um, let me pull it up. It's easier to, sometimes it's easier to, let me get rid of this. Let me pull it up. Okay. Okay, so like this is what it'll look like. It'll say, say it Sunday. And it'll pull up and it'll say, it says, say it Sunday, word of the day was create, which is what we just did. Every week, I'll assign a word. Let's see what you can make based around this word. Post a picture of your creation in the comments. Each person who posts a creation will be entered in the drawing. I'll do a random draw at 10.30 p.m. We were a little bit late to this after, to this tonight because I forgot. Eastern during my Monday Live at 9 p.m. on my YouTube channel. The winner will receive a free digital kit of their choice from my Etsy shop, which is etsy.com slash shop slash done by Dorothy, or just search done by Dorothy. All is one word. Okay, and then you'll just click on comments, just like if you're going to comment, and then you just post your picture. So let me see if I can pop it up. There's Nettie's. She did a good job. And there's Melissa's. Um, hopefully you guys can, yeah, there it looks better. And there's April's Butterfly. And my really junky screen that's all... Fingerprinted up from Lainey. Um, but yeah, you just post your picture up there. And then every, and it's not based on how good you are. Um, who spent the most money making it? Or, you know, who has the most talent? Or who knows, um, you know, the most techniques to use? It's not based on that, whether you're the best or whether you're the worst or whether you have no clue what you're doing at all. If you post a piece of art that you created with the word on there on that post before I go and check it at 10 30 and put the names in the jar, then you have a chance to win. And it's a free kit. And some of the kits are, you know, they range depending on what you get from a dollar, a dollar fifty up to five dollars, depending on the amount of why would you be embarrassed? Yes, you're in there just for participating. It's not about art. It's about if you participate and you get on there, then you you deserve it. So, yeah, tomorrow um, I will have my tea dyed pages, uh, music pages, book pages, maps, whatever I want to put in there in my signatures. I'll have that ready. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull out 
um, maybe like some green lace, pink lace, white lace, you know, maybe some beige lace, whatever kind of laces I want to use um, or fibers or whatever that I want to use. Or, you know, if I have ephemera that I want to add on it, cheesecloth, whatever, to decorate my tags. And when I get the signatures done, I'll go there. You do need an awl or a pokey tool or a really big needle to poke holes in your signature to be able to sew them and bind them. Um, whatever binding thread you're, you're using. If you don't have um, like cotton thread, you can use embroidery floss. You can use crochet thread. Technically, you can even use yarn. I have even used twine. So you can use that and you'll need that um, and a needle for your thread to put in there. Yeah, it is. A, you, we're building junk journals. There is no yours isn't as good as mine or whatever. Junk journals are not about who can do the best and, you know, who's, you know, is going to take the whole money and all that. That's not what it's about. Junk journals are about expressing yourself and creating to the best of your ability. Okay, Kylara, thanks for tuning in. I will get back with you. Um, it will probably be in the morning, earlier in the morning. I'll try to get a hold of you. Yeah, Connie, you can use crochet thread. I have used crochet thread without a problem. Okay, I'll hit you up afterwards. Okay. Okay, you guys have a great night. I'm going to go ahead and go. Um, oh, no, I just found I have a page. I missed the page. I missed the page. Now I got to start all over again. Okay, sounds great. Okay, Kathy, I'm I'm waiting. You guys are fine. If you have any questions or anything, throw it out there. Hi, Kathy Nolan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're almost done, but we have a little bit. And feel free to free. Can't talk. Feel free to go back and rewatch. Do you have a code to get out? Oh, um. Yeah, hold on just a second. Let me let me grab it. I totally forgot. That's my fault. Hold on, let me grab it. It'll take me just a second. Um, yeah, and if you... Um... Oh, good night, Amanda. Um, thanks for stopping by. And welcome. Well, hold on, Kathy. I have it right now. I just It just takes me a second to pull it up because I had to go to the side on my phone. I like to do things immediately because I forget if I don't. That's just brain dysfunction. And it doesn't take me that long to get it. I just have to wait for it to sign in. Make sure you go check out the Facebook site. There's lots of freebies and stuff over there too, Amanda. If you're not already there. Okay, hold on. I will throw it up in the little chat. Oh, my, my, my. What a day. Okay, let me get it up here. There you go. But yeah, I mean, it saves me a ton of money. It really does. And I mean, I wasn't too happy about, you know, having buying the new printer. But when I actually sat down and the cost of the ink costs me to do, um, and you'll find the more journals you do, the more it costs. Um, this is where we inked up the back. This is actually the front of it. And this is the My Dearest Jane um, kit on my Etsy store, which is done by Dorothy. And we're getting ready to start our um, Traveler's Notebook series. Well, I mean, we're starting today because that's what I'm making up for. So we're getting ready and then. 
Um, yeah, Kathy, if you put that code in there, um, I will get a free month and you'll get a free month too. When I signed up, um, I actually got like six months free and you may ask them. Sometimes they have specials on there where you can get like two months free when you sign up and all that is pretty crazy. Yes. Yes. You get free months and I do too. And I appreciate that. That's awesome. I mean, I'll take free ink. Um, yes, I will. Yeah, we can do that tomorrow or you can do it now. Um, if you're going to fold it, I just, you know, match the ends up. You know how to fold something in half. I mean, everybody knows that. There's something everybody knows. And then I just burnish it with my bone folder and I'm good to go. Good night, Cheryl. Thanks for being here, honey. Have a good evening. Get some sleep. But yeah, you can do them in half. Okay, Nettie, that's fine. Yeah, I was shocked because I was worried about spending that. So, and now you can get cheaper printers than the one I got. Um, good night, Connie. Thanks for being here. Love you. Take care. Get some sleep. And um, I was sort of worried about spending more on a new printer. But when I actually figured it out after the first month, I actually covered the cost of my printer and saved like $25. It was crazy. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. Is anybody else have any other questions before I let y'all go? Anybody have any questions? Anybody? Anybody? Good night, Kathy. Anybody else have any questions? Going once. Going twice. Bye, Kathy. Thanks for tuning in. You weren't here long, but thanks. Night, Mitz. You too, Mindy. See, I'll say them both. That way I got you covered. Bye, Elizabeth. So maybe post the printer so I can get one too. It's an HP Envy 5055. 5055 HP Envy. Oh, it is afternoon for you, Kathy, because you guys are in Australia. Carol's usually on here. She's from Australia. Good night, Deborah. Get some sleep, dear. And thank you for being here. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the chat. If you need anything, you know how to get a hold of me via Facebook or wherever. If you have questions, just throw it up there or, you know, private message me or whatever. You guys take care, stay safe, and I will see you tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye.